There's a true relationship between not just the horse and the rider, but between the staff and the volunteers. And it's there's a bond that develops, and it doesn't take long. It's a very welcoming place to be, and it's it's therapeutic and on many fronts. What began with one student, one horse, and three volunteers more than 20 years ago has become an organization that now annually helps over 130 students improve their quality of life physically and emotionally. Use those legs, squeeze them. More than 3,300 sessions a year of equine assisted activities facilitated by staff, volunteers, and an incredible stable of horses help students of all ages and abilities. Gently. Students like Nathan Sangamino, who began riding at Hetra in 1998 at the age of four, after trying every form of therapy to get her developmentally delayed son to speak and interact with his environment, Nathan's mom Kathy was amazed from his first day riding. To me, he kind of reminded me of a little prince on his horse. You could just see he was beaming inside that, look, I can do something, this is awesome. And, it was, it was neat. I think I was crying, and he didn't talk at that time. It became very motivating to him that he wanted to learn how to talk so he could get this horse to do what he wanted. So he really opened up, and I, I really believe that the horseback riding was a big factor in getting him to become verbal. When, you know, he said, walk on, and whoa, and when he eventually learned to say mom, it was such a big thing for us. It was awesome. Fifteen years later, Nathan is still riding at Hetra every week. I think it's so much fun. I just love the feel of it. They tip me really nice throughout the years. I love riding. These kids miss out a lot. Um, like with Nathan, the birthday parties, they don't get invited. Even when they pass out report cards, they don't get a report card in the classroom. and. They just really feel like they fit in a family here. Welcome. Sixteen Hetra horses work over 1,600 hours a year serving clients. One veteran horse in the Omaha barn is 18-year-old Smokey, who had two other distinguished careers before joining the Hetra family. Smokey's breed is a standard bred, and he was bred to be a harness racing horse, a trotter specifically. After Smokey retired from racing, he was adopted by the Omaha Mounted Patrol and was a Mounted Patrol horse for a few years, and then he was kind of tired of the eight-hour shifts, and so now he works half-hour shifts at a time at Hetra as a therapy horse. Smokey is one of three horses at the Omaha barn that is used for wheelchair ramp mounts. Overall, he's transitioned well to his new career as a therapy horse. It didn't take Smokey a real long time to be integrated into the program, and now that he is in the program, he has really taken a hold of his job, enjoys it, and he has a great sense of humor. He's always making us laugh. Twelve-year-old Gabby Zeger is now in her sixth year of riding at Hedra. Gabby was born with hydrocephalus and was diagnosed with cerebral palsy when she was two. Her progress in her time riding at Hetra is nothing short of amazing. She started out with two sidewalkers and a leader and um, over the years she just progressed to needing less and less assistance and to the point now where she'll be 13 in a few months and she is riding independently. She mounts with a little bit of assistance but um, and dismounts with minimal assistance sometimes completely independently. Her progress is amazing but I think it goes so much more beyond the physical. Yes she gets stretched, her balance is worked on, her muscle lengthening. It's big picture for Gabby. It's 
the whole experience, walking into the barn, seeing the familiar faces with all the Hetra staff and the volunteers that are here week after week. It's the complete package for her. It is an emotional high for her to be riding. And the end of that good ride, she's thrilled to be walking her horse to the stall and helping with the untacking process. So it's, it's much more than just the physical ride that she gets and the benefits from that. It's the whole experience of being part of something at Hetra. I like the trotting part because I get to scare my mom. <laughs> I think I'm the most proud of the fact that I actually made it from be having two sidewalkers and a leader and being totally like dependent on them and then now riding independently and looking at cantering and that is something that I would not have considered myself doing. Gabby's success extends outside the arena. She served on the student council at Elkhorn Valley View Middle School and was Miss Nebraska Preteen Sweetheart in 2011. The biggest thing is that this is a group of people at Etra who are dedicated and committed not just to their riders but to their horses and they are truly a blessing to the community and to anyone who wants to experience a different kind of therapy. Whether they're looking for physical, they're looking for emotional or mental therapy to help their child or loved one achieve a goal. It's times like these that make you slow to creep, they make you want to breathe in deep. Oh, it's times like these that make you slow to creep, they make you want to breathe in Times like these. La, da, da.